Is there goop coming out of your nose? <laughs> Some blood. So, fun part, I get to go get tested for the COVID-19 virus. Can I just put this on? You can see that. And then just touch your head all the way back. I wasn't gonna record today because yesterday these past couple of days I have not been feeling good I've had a vestibular migraine that's one of my conditions and it's a condition pretty much I do get a migraine I have headaches and I also do experience dizziness and vertigo at the same time yes this is a very rare condition vestibular migraines and it comes and originates from the ear I do have ear problems and uh, pretty much these past couple of days, usually when I get a episode like that, it lasts for three days. And I really can't move. Like, I have to stay in bed because I'm so dizzy. I have such a horrible headache that if I move, get up, I just throw up. Yeah, it's that bad. And these episodes have been getting worse, so, you know, I just bunker down, take some pain meds, you know, have some medical cannabis to take get chill anyway that's kind of the reason why i've been absent i'm so sorry guys but i've recovered and um today's paul's day that he doesn't feel good if you guys want to know more about paul and his condition he has crohn's disease i do have a crohn's disease playlist so definitely check it out um he used to do remicade and he'll explain more on that if he can and right now we switched over to humera and remicade was every eight weeks Humera now is more frequent. It's every other week and I get to give him the shot. It's one shot, 10 seconds, done. So that's a lot easier for us. You know, we don't need home health to come over here and hook him up to an IV pump for like six hours. But um, today was his day to get his shot and he wasn't feeling the best. And you know, he just took out all my medical stuff and was like, I need to check everything. He has kind of like a high blood pressure. He has a, uh, you know, kind of a fever, high fever, 100. And uh, you, we, bo we both know that when he has these infusion days, if he's not feeling the best, we have to be careful because that can affect him greatly. So after checking his temperature like 80 times, um, he decided to call his GI and was like, hey, you know, what is another option? Am I still safe to take my medication? Do I hold off? And they were like, go get tested he's gonna go get tested for the coronavirus they said go today they just called us 30 minutes ago and was like make this happen so we're gonna go do that and we're gonna take you guys along for the ride i shall be driving a little nerve-wracking yes um when he is not feeling good i will drive and i mean he has to be feeling like death for me to drive but i am a safe driver and if i have somebody with me i feel confident now a lot of people ask me can you drive well, with some of my conditions, my doctors have told me, it depends on me and how I feel. If I am feeling tired due to my narcolepsy, definitely don't drive. If my heart rate's a little too high and I could pass out, definitely don't drive. If I have a vestibular migraine and I'm having a vertigo episode, definitely don't drive. So yeah, I have a couple of conditions that do stop me, but if I'm having a good day, I will definitely drive and I'm feeling a lot better so I can definitely help Paul and be the caretaker for today or each other's caretakers. We're on our way to the clinic. So fun part, I get to go get tested for the COVID-19 virus. So I haven't really been feeling well the past couple of days. Uh, I'm supposed to get my Humira shot injection. Janice loves it because she stabs me. But um, I was supposed to get it and I just haven't been feeling well. I took all my vitals, um, everything is okay. My blood pressure is a little high and I was running a slight fever. So just took a chill, kept checking my temperature and my temperature was going from 99.5 up to 100.4. So 
a fever. Uh, I took some Tylenol. I called my doctor's office, my GI, let them know what was going on. Um, it was after hours, so the nurse had to call me back in a little bit. They informed me that I should not take Humira if I'm having any sort of low fever or a fever at all. And that they recommend that I go and get tested for COVID-19. Now, I don't think I have coronavirus, but that's just a precaution they want to do. And uh, yeah, so now we get to go to a drive-up clinic and I get to get my mouth, my, my mouth, my nose swabbed and violated. And we are here. So we had to come to a Advent Health Center Care. Um, pull in, turn your hazard lights on. Someone turn shall direct on. you on where to go. And uh, oh, yeah, go from there. I would like. Okay, so describe what you see. I don't even know where I'm supposed to go. I don't know. Let's see. Well, I'm gonna turn this way. I'm just guessing, guys. I'm guessing. Okay. Okay. And we are here. Please stay in your car. Muchas gracias. Oh wait. Oh. Hey, I can't care for you today. Hi. Um. He has Crohn's disease and he was told to come and get checked because he has a high fever, not feeling For, the best. To do the corona, to do the testing. Order over? Yes. It's really cool. I love it. So we have to receive the order? Okay. So they finally received the fax order that they did not get. And uh, the nurse is uh, gearing up and going to uh, swab my nose now, which I hate drastically. They are getting all decked out for fall, I mean. So she's wearing a face face shield, so there's like plastic face shields like that, obviously a mask underneath, and then those uh, yellow protective gowns um, with gloves going over the gown to make sure that there is uh, zero possibility of getting infected. I don't know, she just had it over the bush, so I don't know if she's wearing the same one, if they're changing it out. We're going to literally just took it off the bush. That's comforting. <laughs> yeah, he's getting swelled already. Oh wait, I think this is your nurse. You got your nurse coming. Well, at least we know maybe her gown's clean, hopefully. Yeah, it should be. Oh. Okay. Can you tell me your first name, bless her? Alright. What you're going to do is put your hand over your mouth. Okay? Mm -hmm. Can I just put this on? You just do that. And yeah, then you just touch your head all the way back. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I am going to swab both nostrils. Yeah. That's deep. Do you feel the tickle on your brain? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Next tickle. one. Ooh, okay. Oh, that. Yes. Oh. Does it tickle or itch? It hurts like hell. It tickles. Ooh, good. All right, sir. So in the meantime, make sure you stay away from everybody. They'll call you with the results. Did she give you the paper at all? No? Alright, just give me a second. I'll give the paper. Thank you. <coughs> Is there goop coming out of your nose? <coughs> Ew. Some blood. <sighs> I'm using that. Sucked. How deep was that? Oh, that was pretty deep. Yeah, I'll take it. Okay, this is the paper for your follow-up instructions. I'm going to get the results, okay? Thank you. Have a good day. Yeah. So that went back pretty, like... Oh, I, I felt majority it. Majority of it was like, yeah, we, they weren't kidding about how bad that went. That sucked. I literally felt it, like, so far back into my nostrils that it was, like, itchy at first. Like, you know, like a normal, like, swoof, s flu swab? Deeper. Yeah, like, twice as deep as what a normal, like, flu swab is. Like, we saw a picture a while ago of how deep they go, but we thought it was a lie. It was pretty far back there. Oh my goodness, Mom. You had a tampon in your nose. <laughs> oh god, that actually, that actually hurt, man. My eyes started watering, nose just like... Oh man, that sucked. I can't wait to watch the footage and see how far into my nose it went, because I, I felt it all the way back there. Oh, so... Now uh, we await the results. They uh, actually swapped somebody in the car behind us that was yeah. also there. I can almost guarantee you that I don't have it, 
we have taken the utmost precautions. Obviously, there's always a chance of, you know, contamination from some way or form, but um, we have taken the most amounts of precautions as possible for us. Now, we just wait, which sucks. So, um, I asked the nurse on the phone how long would it take for the results, and uh, it can take anywhere from five to ten days. Uh, it does, it, that is a very long time for some test results, and I know there was some lab in Canada that was working on trying to get these test results within a couple of hours versus days. Um, so it sucks, but let's see what happens. Um, all of this is coming because I have a slight fever, coughing, but I've been coughing since January, since I was hospitalized for a week with pneumonia. So, yeah. So guys, we had a fun time fun time taking you guys along on this adventure it was the last minute i just was like this is educational i bet you guys love to see this so took you guys along for that adventure so it sucked okay. <laughs> so guys hopefully you guys catch our next adventure for now adieu and goodbye